NAB Show 2019 Las Vegas. Every story starts here. This self-confidence statement is this year's headline for the ultimate event for media, entertainment and technology professionals, looking for new and innovative ways to create, manage, deliver and monetize content on any platform. The big player in the communication industry starts with an R, like Riedel. Of course, the whole show floor is talking about artists. Are you an artist? If you look closely, you can spot many at NAB. So let's see what Thomas Riedel has to say at his press conference. Welcome. Welcome all together to the 2019 Riedel press conference. As usual, I don't make it too long. And, uh, well, we certainly also have some sandwiches later and even also a little bit more. But before we come to the real thing, I like to wind back in history a little bit. It's exactly 10 years ago that we have launched the Medionet exactly here at the booth in this hall. I recognize some faces. And uh, who was here 10 years ago at the launch of the Medionet? Well, I see quite some people. Oh, I get, I get, I get my 10, the 10 years. Well, I'm not sure whether you remember how we, how we presented that. It was a solution way beyond signal transport, doing processing and uh, also routing. And in the meantime, we can tell that we have applications in lots of different fields. And, oh, we have some wind going on here. Look at that. In lots of fields, from basically point-to-point -point applications up to full router replacement installations in trucks and also in fixed installations. There is uh, 5,000 plus nodes. Oh, that's really wind here. But we get the 5,000 now. <laughs> so basically, there is 5,000 plus nodes uh, uh, in the market right now. And the product has really evolved over the years. I mean, we have started with, with one product, which was the modular at that time. In the meantime, there's lots of more. <laughs> and, uh, and today, you know, based on a software-definable hardware, you can do many things with the Medionet. And we talk about many applications. You know, we are in broadcast, and uh, we have applications which are in sports, and I guess we get the sports balloon as well. And, uh, but you know, in stadiums, and even in corporate installations, uh, we are as well. So think of like there's social media networks which use Medionet big time. Yeah, well, and also in that sports. So we are really happy that uh, we have the media net now. And uh, well, we want to celebrate. And that's why I think we should, uh, we should start with, with that one and really talk about the media net. So where am I? Let me just see, because I'm just in the middle of everything here. But I think I covered everything on the media net, did I? Okay, I, th I, think, I think I did. So, since now you have taken the photos with all the balloons talking about the Medionet, I think it's about time to get to the real story of the day. So, we need to remove the balloons. It looks like the broadcast industry is somehow on the floor, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know, but it just... Uh, it just look, looks like something is going on here. So, let's talk about something else, which is Intercom. Well, Intercom really is the DNA of Riedel. And if you think of Intercom, you might think of the artist Intercom system, which we also launched a long time ago. And, uh, well, who is an artist user here? Well, lots of artists use us. Thank you so much for that. And uh, really, till today, this is a huge part of our DNA, and we want to stick to that. But I also want to remind everyone a little bit on what are the pieces in the artists we have. 
So let me start with the smallest one we have, basically. It's not Serkan, but uh, basically it's, it's, that is the smallest one. Thank you, Serkan. So basically the smallest piece in the puzzle is the, the 32 artist frame. And uh, lots of applications, it, it works just fine. And if you need more ports, more density, then basically the second part comes in. That's basically the Artist 64. And the Artist 64 is another piece in the puzzle. Let me just connect that here because it's important, because if you put them together, you already have a, a, a 96 by 96 intercom router. So, but we're going even further with that, as you know, because many of you have not only the 32, the 64, but also the 128 frame. The next part, and there's many of them in the US, right, Rick? Uh, so, basically, that is another in that, in that, in that puzzle. And now let me come to the news, really, because, you know, three pieces in the puzzle, which are there for a long time, and they will be there for a long time, definitely, but there's a new puzzle, which I want to show you now. Here we go. So, new piece in the puzzle, the Artist 124. You would imagine now this must be big, because it's the biggest piece in this puzzle which we, which we show you currently. But let me show you the real thing. So this little baby is Artist 124. Oh, yeah. Well, the applause should go to the engineers which built that, because they built something which really is the highest density of intercom ports on this planet. Because on only two rec units, you have up to 1,024 ports. And well, if you like to compare, then you will see the difference. And what you see in the frame, you have lots of cards, but you might recognize that all these cards look the same. And they don't look the same because they can only do one thing. They look the same because we have a new concept, which is a, a universal concept of, uh, of interface cards with a flexible licensing scheme. And... Uh, of the cards. I think I should go, uh, go for the other microphone because I think it doesn't work. It's not a Riedel thing, I guess. Ah, here we go. So let me go. Ah, now this works better. Look at that. Look at that. It's also not a Riedel microphone, but it doesn't matter. Here, that's the piece. So basically, this little baby, that is our software-definable interface card. So with our flexible license on that, this can be the central controller, our NIC card in that frame, but the same one can be an AS67 card, or it can be a MADI card, or a voice over IP card. So basically, you only have one card, and you can even move forth and back with your licenses, which people will, will certainly like. What we can also do with that is an N plus one redundancy, which means you have one spare card in your frame, and if one card, for whatever reason, has an issue, might fail, then that card can just take over. And you can even move licenses forth and back. So, well, that's a car. Let me just put that here. But I also need, do we have that sticker? Because what I wanted to tell is that this also and you, you might know that, basically. That is the JTNM-tested 
uh, uh, certification kind of. So that's why I need to put that on. Because we also passed with our intercom system the test for the, uh, for the 2110 uh, compliance. So that's also an important one. Let me, let me do one on the puzzle as well, because that's, that, that should fit there. So, well, what did I forget? That's the baby. Of course, it's compatible with everything you already have. So people who already own uh, some artist 32, 64, 128s can just put that in the 1K fiber ring and put that together. So we are not replacing anything, but we're really adding. And especially in environments where it's about IP-centric installations, that's where basically that new baby makes sense. So that is the announcement. And as I promised, I wouldn't make it too long. Again, we have prepared some sandwiches. At this point, I wanted to thank all of you for coming here. Uh, all the guests, all the journalists, of course also the competitors, I've seen quite some. So you, you are certainly welcome. But before I close this little press conference, let me tell you something. And that is really the best news on that. So not only that we show the baby today the first time here, we've already closed a very large contract in Canada. And it's about CBC in Canada. And uh, Francois, my friend, is here somewhere hiding, probably. You know, Francois Vaillant, thank you very much thank you. for your new project, the uh, MRC project in Montreal. You will go for that, for that product in a mix, certainly, of the other things. And I'd like to thank you officially for being really one of the early adapters of the new product. For us, it's great because it's a huge project, multi-million thing. It's also business-wise, it's certainly good. And uh, I'm very happy that we could close that deal even before the show has even started. So thank you so much for that. I think we will do some photos later on okay. as well, but I wanted to really officially thank you in that, in that uh, position here. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. So yeah, that's it basically. Uh, we can call it a press conference and uh, basically, uh, I'm still here with, for some photos, if you like, and uh, uh, also get, get a drink, get a sandwich, or maybe one of our little cakes with the celebration of the Medionet 10 years. By the way, the Medionet now is only a teenager, so wait what's coming. Okay, thank you so much. While the guests are celebrating the 10th anniversary of Medionet with red champagne and red candle cupcakes, we learn that size does really matter in the end. The new Artist 1024 is extremely small in size. With a height of only two rack units, it offers up to 1024 ports with a flexible licensing scheme and multiple independent sync domains, including the new 2022-7 and N plus 1 redundancy, an e-ink display, reversible front to rear cooling and the easy to use concept integrates the new unit seamlessly into the Artist ecosystem. No wonder that state-of-the-art intercom communication today is clearly connected to Riedel Communications, the global leader for real-time networks for video, audio and communications. Riedel stands for leading-edge technology that meets tomorrow's demands by today's solutions. Competent Riedel experts from all around the globe are presenting state-of-the-art integrated real-time networks for HD video, audio, data and communications. All that at the impressive Riedel booth underneath the big red wooden R. Riedel products are used for broadcast, pro audio, events, sports, theater and security applications worldwide. No wonder they attract a broad user community of industry professionals here at NAB Show. So once for sure, every sophisticated communication story starts here at Riedel Communication. With over 100,000 attendees from more than 160 countries and 1,700 plus exhibitors, NAB Show once again is the ultimate marketplace for solutions that transcend traditional broadcasting and pave the way for content delivery to new formats in new ways.